in this video I'm going to talk to you about the latest functionality implemented in the 1.5 and 1.6 version of the Evil M5. This was developed by the other one. And to start with, I'm going to discuss of the implementation using the M5 Core 2. So this version here implements this while driving capability. Here we could actually use the M5 Core 2 and GPS module. So if you want, you could like use the commercial GPS module made by M5 or you could use a module here. I'm not even sure this one is compatible, but it's just for illustration purpose. So you will need the antenna and the module itself. So it will really depend if you are like more a do-it-yourself person or not. And for both situations, you might need to use the GPIO on the top of the M5 or inside and if those are not okay for you you could still unscrew the backpack here and you will have access to much more uh, GPIO. So right now if I let's say press while driving I know I didn't attach the GPS module but it is just for illustration purpose here as I'm running the M5 indoor. So my reception will be really bad because of the coverage. Of course, I have no satellite uh, inside my place. So what is really interesting now, if I, let's say, do stop, I will have like a list of SSID. If I have the GPS module plugged in, I will get all the different location associated with, and I could take this text file and upload it to wiggle.net and then participate to a open database about Wi-Fi SSID and their coordinate. Those who do not have GPS module, but still want to have like a use for the wire driving functionality, you could use the list of SSID gathered during your wire driving session and record the open network, only the open network you have crossed during a session in order to target them using the Karma attack. So at the end of the scan, you will have like a Karma list TXT file. This file will be created and the Karma sphere in this menu will use the list of all the open SSID. You could also add custom SSID to this list if you want. The other one is pretty active and releases a new functionality. Beacon Spam will create multiple networks on all channels to render multiple SSID in Wi-Fi search and sniffing equipment. So it will make it really difficult to browse and look what you are looking for because of all this noise. You could also use custom beacon in the config file. So you click and you set it up and you could see all the different SSID here that are getting created. That's it for beacon spam. So that's the core two. And here's at the Atom S3. You could see the size, it's pretty small. And here we could compare it with the Flipper Zero. It will cover the D-pad. What is also interesting, this device still have like extension capabilities. You have the USB-C, which I'm using for charging this. Here you also have the extension port and all the GPIO here. The other one actually leverage this module. 
So this is a tiny GPS module embedded on a board with GPIO pins that will come as a backpack for the Atom S3. And now you have one of the smallest wire driving device on the market. I was able to record some part and testing my Atom S3, but in the meantime, for a unknown reason, the screen is not displaying anything. So recording quality may vary for the rest of this video. Right now I still use four older version that will be corrected. This, the picture is not uh, fitting as a size. So once this is done, you will see here, you will have the ability to move the menu by just clicking on the screen and to select while driving. So we are here selected. You will press long and then it will start. And here right now you see I have catch a fix. Because I stay home and not moving, it was like pretty easy. And then now, what do I want to do? I could stop actually, and I have an option, of course, to list and no to stop. So if I press long, it will select, it will save. So if I press long, it will save the network. And right now, I will have in the micro SD all the different um, SSID and I could export this card to Wiggle. And that's it for this video basically.